simple interest we have two different types of interest one is simple the other is concept the idea behind it is very quite common in our regular life if you enjoy some property which doesn't belong to you we have to pay some money to them in different context we name different words if you take home or a house we will be paying monthly rent if you take land we will be paying lease money after every year like that if you take money from somebody after period of time if you want to return you need to return the money that you have lent from them as well as extra money we have to lend that extra money in this particular context is called interest there are two different types how they calculate interest one is simple the other is compound both are two separate chapters that we have and both are extension to percentage chapter only let me give brief introduction regarding simple interest we'll discuss about compound interest in the other chapter compound interest now simple interest for example in our regular life suppose a person lent 1 lakh from some person some other, a person lent 1 lakh from xyz person in general our rate of interest calculated as 2 rupees per month and this 2 rupees per month is for 100 rupees for every 100 rupees we have to pay 2 rupees as interest and if the person lent 1 lakh how many hundreds are there Thou thousand hundreds are there. So thousand into two, every month we have to pay two thousand rupees per month. If it is one month, we have to pay two thousand interest. If it is two months, we have to pay four thousand. And if it is twelve months, we have to pay twelve into two, twenty four thousand per year. Twelve months. If it is two years. One year it is twenty four thousand. For two years it becomes forty eight thousand. The concept, whatever I have written here, this is the property of simple interest. And the property of simple interest says, interest is same for a given time period. If you calculate interest per month, every month that is same. Hence, for two months we are able to identify it as four thousand. and per year that is equal to 24000 because every month interest is same and every year interest is also same first year 24000 second year 24000 third year 24000 every year that will be same so this itself is the property when you calculate interest per month every month it is same if you calculate interest per year every year it is same per day if you calculate every day that is same this is the property of simple interest and this is very important to remember because we will be using this particular point in some other question now but when it comes to problems they will never mention in terms of rupees per month <coughs> they will say interest as percentage per annum for example let me consider rate of interest is 10% per annum sometimes they may say 10 pcpa p c p a stands for per cent per annum suppose a person lent 1 lakh rupee and the rate of interest is 10% per annum after one year if the person want to return it after one year he must return his original principal and interest both together he need to return that is called amount amount a a stands for amount which is the combination of principal and interest the money lent was 1 lakh first year interest is 10 percentage do remember every time we will calculate rate of interest only on principal out of total principal 10 percent age is equal to 10000 amount after one year becomes 1 lakh 10000 this much amount we have to return to clear off everything suppose if you want to return after 2 years we have to return initial principal which is 1 lakh and along with this we have to add 2 years interest 2 years interest every year that is 10 percentage property says every year that will be 10 10 percent only for 2 years that becomes 20 percentage 20 percent of principal becomes 
and to clear everything we have to return 120,000 and third year like that every year we just need to add 10% extra that towards rate of interest interest per month interest per year principal is 1 lakh for 3 years interest becomes 30 percentage which is 30,000 and the total we have to return 1 lakh 30,000 without using formula itself we are able to identify by using only one simple concept that is percentage concept this will be very easy let us try not to use formulas everywhere and try to answer all the questions now this is the entire basic concept of simple interest now when it comes to formula let me discuss that simple interest is equal to p n r by 100 i'll tell you that as well always we have to calculate interest only on principal so we have principal here out of principal our rate of interest is r percentage this is for one year if it is two years into two three years into three n years into n for n years rate of interest r percentage calculated on principal this is adjusted as p n r when you delete percentage symbol we have to divide number with 100 that is how we got the formula simple interest as p n r by 100 and some people will say p t r by 100 also here n stands for number of years there t stands for time period both refers the same now whatever amount that we are returning that is equal to the combination of principal and interest whatever interest we calculate we will add that this chapter is regarding simple interest so we will be adding simple interest in next chapter the same logic we will consider but there we will be adding only compound interest there so ideally for generic purpose i am saying amount is equal to combination of principal and interest now here p stands for principal they may call it as principal or capital or investment or sum of rupees or amount of this is very important all these refers principal only you may be getting doubt a stands for amount you said but here you have written amount of yes because of this suffix meaning entire meaning will change now there are two important words here amount of and then amounts to both are completely different amount of and then amounts to amount of refers principal amounts to refers actual amount that is the combination of principal and interest what exactly is the difference between these two let me give you one basic example if i lend 1 lakh from you at the rate of 25 percent per annum after four years it will become four into 25 percent that is 100 percent interest meaning if i lend 1 lakh from you interest itself after four years becomes one more lakh so to clear my entire debt i need to return two lakh so you gave me one lakh and in return i am giving you two lakhs including interest if you want to share this news this information with your friend you will say my one lakh becomes two lakhs this is one type of statement the same statement you can say another thing like an amount of 1 lakh becomes 2 lakhs or an amount of 1 lakh amounts to 2 lakh be careful amount of 1 lakh amounts to 2 lakh the same information we are able to say we are conveying here what does amount of conveys what is this one lakh this is principal amounts to what is this this is amount that's what i am telling you amount of and amounts to both are completely different amount of refers principal amounts to refers amount that is the combination of principal and interest 
now n stands for number of years r stands for rate of interest already we discussed principal p and then simple interest is based on these three values amount is equal to principal plus interest and here simple interest we discussed as p n r divided by 100 every time directly you cannot go and substitute values here there is one condition that you have to verify always and that condition is that is very important values of both n and r should belong to same matrix matrix meaning measurement should be same matrix should be same meaning if n is represented in years r also must be represented in number of years it is not compulsory that always they both should be in years it's not a rule like that the rule is different rule says both values should be representing same measurement both can be in days both can be in months both can be in years also anything you can take but the only measure that you need to consider is both should belong to same measurement if and only if that condition satisfies you can substitute values in the formula and you can calculate simple interest make sure this condition true always if at all if you are using formula but i recommend personally don't use formulas when you are able to identify answer without using formula why to go for formulas and all just use your brain mind this is the most powerful weapon that you all have and using your brain and using your hand both are inversely proportional the more you write the less it works the less you write the more it works now you personally you can understand and think in your examination point of view what is the organ that you should effectively use whether it is hand or whether it is brain if you are using formula this is working more if you are using without formula then mind will work now that's the concept i am telling you now let us start exercise starting from the first question find the simple interest on 700 rupees for two years at 3% per annum per annum 3 percentage but you are asked to calculate it for 2 years every year we will get 3 percent 2 years we will get 6 percentage 6 percent in the sense 6 into 1 percent value 6 into 1 percent is 7 6 7 times is equal to 42 third option final answer next simple interest on 4500 at 18 percentage per annum for 212 days is equal to let me tell you formula and without formula for this question let me tell you that simple interest is equal to pnr by 100 principal is 4500 n is equal to 219 days but rate of interest is in percentage per annum let me convert 219 days to years by 365 pn r by 100 two zeros two zeros gets cancelled let me tell you the cancellation rule that we follow identify difference between both the numbers difference between both the numbers is equal to 146 you may be asking why to take only difference between these two why can't you take difference from 45 and 365 or 18 and then 365 the simple logic is identify the nearest number to 365 in numerator we have 219 identify difference between both and now just observe whether these numbers can be cancelled with 146 or not first point this is even number and these two are odd numbers cancellation won't work take next highest factor how do you get next highest factor of these number this is by dividing number with two that is equal to 73 73 3 times a year 73 5 times a year cancellation worked 5 9 times 9 3 is 27 27 into 18 is our final answer just verify last digit verification 27 multiplied by 18 7 into 8 
56. Answer should end with 6. How many options are ending with 6? There is only one option. So directly you can answer. If multiple options are there, which ends with 6? Still you can do it. That is, this is 9 multiple. When this fellow is 9 multiple, answer also should be 9 multiple. Out of options, those which are ending with 6, identify how many are 9 multiples. If there is only one, there you are done with. Otherwise, you have to calculate. How do you calculate? Let me tell you that as well. 27, take 20 times 540. From this, subtract 27, 2 times. 27, 2 times in the sense, which is equal to 54. Answer, 486. But don't try to calculate this. Just verify last digit verification. You will be getting it. Now, this is using formula. Without using formula, how to calculate? Yes, that also I will discuss. Per year, your rate of interest is 18 percentage. That means 18 into 45 rupees. This much interest we will get per year. Year meaning 365 days. For 365 days, if interest is 18 into 45, you need to calculate it for 219 days. Cancellation with 73, 73 5 times a year and then 3 times a year. 5 how many times? 9 times a year. So here, if 1 part is equal to 9, 3 parts is equal to how much? 18 into 9 into 3. That's it. Final answer. Using last digit verification, you can complete it. The question. 3 into 9, 7, 7 into 8 ends with 6. Answer ends with 6 and there is only one option. We are done with this. So, this class is as part of Sridhar CC's online batch 2. To watch full video course, log on to www.sridharcc.com hash online course. Subjects covered in this batch are useful for all competitive examination which a graduate can write in India. Reasoning, quantitative aptitude, general English, current affairs, computer awareness and banking awareness. We are going to cover all these subjects in two different levels, basic level and advanced level. Basic level is useful for preliminary examination. Advanced level is useful for mains level. The batch includes 450 plus hours of classroom teaching and 150 plus hours for topic wise test explanation. Medium of teaching, classes and explanation completely in English medium. PDF material will be provided in English medium. Topic wise test for each and every subject including each and every topic will be conducted. And there are three packages available. The major three months, six months and then 12 months packages are available. In three months structure, you'll get 450 hours plus classroom teaching, PDF copies, topic wise test on all chapters, monthly model test and explanation, special live classes access for three months, three months current affairs, including PDF and student can watch all the above videos for n number of times apart from this every wednesday we will conduct preliminary examination in three months period you'll get 12 to 13 preliminary examinations followed by explanations and every second sunday and fourth sunday we will conduct mains examination in three months we can write six mains level exams in six months course you'll get 450 plus hours teaching pdf copies topic wise test for all chapters monthly model test and explanation, special live classes access for six months and six months current affairs including PDF copies and student can watch all the above for n number of times. In six months, you can write 24 to 26 preliminary examinations and 12 mains examinations. In 12 months course, special live classes access for 12 months will be there, 12 months current affairs will be there, and n number of times you can watch preliminary exams 48 to 52 exams you can write and there are 24 mains examination and ex each exam followed by explanation 450 hours plus teaching pdf copies along with pdf copies for 12 months course we will send printed material to your home if you have any queries please contact us on 950 or mail us on online.sridhacc at gmail.com.